Hello, hi, how are you? Praise the Lord. I hope you're well. I hope since last time we were with you, you've been keeping well and the Lord has kept you. Today we're going to have our service, our online service. We are not yet opening our churches and it's still until this condition of pandemic uh, coronavirus is over. So today we're going to have our teachings and we're going to have our teacher today, Teacher Patrick. And he's the one who's going to take us through the lessons of today about mentorship. So welcome to Teacher Patrick as you carry on with the service. God bless you. Praise Jesus and welcome to the teen service, ACK Mwemuto, and I'm blessed to be the one sharing. My name is Patrick Mbugo Kimani and I'm saved. Love Christ as the savior of my life. Let us believe and pray. Almighty God, we thank you for this wonderful day that you've made, that we may rejoice and be glad in it. And we pray as we share your word, Pray that you may minister unto us, my Father, that your word shall come out with power and with authority, Almighty Jehovah. We give ourselves unto thee, O Lord, and pray that we shall hear you so clearly, my Father, that we shall follow your lead and your instructions, my God. We thank you and we adore you, for we pray this believing and trusting in Jesus' name. Amen. The topic of our today's service is importance of Christian mentorship. And our word is going to come from 2 Kings chapter number 2, verse 1 to 4, and also um, 1 Thessalonians chapter number 2, verse 7 to 20. So kindly grab a pen and a paper and jot these um, verses down. We will begin by defining what mentorship is, and mentorship is a relationship in which a more experienced or knowledgeable person guides or helps a less experienced or knowledgeable person. It means that the more knowledgeable person helps to guide a less knowledgeable person. And in the Bible, we have had examples of where an experienced person guided a less experienced person. And I would want you to take up your pen and paper and write the word mentoring going downwards as an acronym in the sense that M is on the top of E N T O R I N N G and letter M stands for model and as a mentor one requires to be a good example to the person that is being mentored and the second letter in our word mentoring is E and letter E stands for enlighten. Enlighten means where the mentor gives wisdom to the mentee or enlightens the mentee. Our third letter in our word mentoring is nurture and nurture is where is to teach with care, provide an atmosphere of acceptance and willingness to grow. Nurture is take care of and our fourth letter is T, and T stands for training. Training is instilling values. And so the mentor instill values to the mentee. The other letter is O, and letter O stands for openness. And in a, any relationship, there needs to be openness. And openness is, gives result to authenticity where you are open not only about your strengths but also for your weaknesses and the other letter R stands for relate and in this being a relationship the mentor relates with the mentee our other letter is I which is initiate and the mentor is the one that initiates most conversations on what he would want the mentor to learn about our other letter is N, and N means notice. And the mentor notices the needs of the mentee and places where he would need to be strengthened, to be equipped for in this example in our Christian life. And the other letter is G. G being our last letter stands for God. And God should is at the center of everything. And in any relationship, this being a relationship 
that is built on Christian values, God is at the center of it. And to put it in context, in our reading, the example of Elijah and Elisha is very strong. And Elijah was one of the greatest prophets in the Old Testament. And the one wish that Elijah, Elisha had when Elijah was taken up is that he will have a double portion of the spirit that Elijah had. And we, were, we have seen that the miracles that Elisha performed were greater than what Elijah did. And this is one example of how strong mentorship relationships are. The other example is of Paul. And Paul mentored Timothy and Titus. And with Timothy, they authored the book of the books of 2 Corinthians, Philippians, Colossians, Thessalonians, and Philemon. And Titus authored the book of Titus. And we can see how strong the mentorship relationships are. And the one lesson that we can get from today is that it is important for us to have people in our life that we can look to, people that can mentor us and hold us, hold our hand through our Christian work. And today, I want to leave you with a memory verse. And our memory verse is very easy. It comes from the book of First Corinthians, chapter number 11, verse number 1. And Paul said, Be imitators of me as I imitate Christ. May the Lord bless you and do you good. Amen. I hope you've been blessed by today's lesson. Kindly stay safe, stay at home, wash your hands and sanitize, and do not forget to carry your mask when you're stepping out. God bless you. Bye-bye.